recently have had had a little break to say on my models. Something that is kind of distressing for a while. I want to get my work on them, but at the same time I just can't get the motivation. Because I don't want to, but because I haven't found the time, I've been quite busy. But today I thought I'd give myself that motivation, and with that I thought I'd put some more model updates of what's changed. Starting with Rusty, you may have seen a debating social and made a slight few modifications to tell by have repeated his face, making the eyebrows and stuff like that a lot more clearer. And I've also repainted his eyes, as the old eyes are really... Derpy. And that didn't really satisfy me, so I thought I'd make that position and voila! That's how Rusty is now. Moving on to Duncan, Reneas and Percy, they're basically the same. Pretty much done with these three and I've added the things I need to add. The only thing I can say about them is I frequently switch Duncan's faces from his mischievous face to his angry face. Right now he's wearing his mischievous face, but other days he'll be wearing his angry face because I cannot decide which one looks be looks better on the model. <laughs> Peter, Sam, the one of the trucks, and Carbo Jack are also the same, along with Oh Age 2006. I haven't really had the need to be updated, to be honest. The main thing I made this update for was this handle. Here it's just having some repairs at the moment. That's why it's on the workbench. I'm not really adding anything to the I'm just repairing it. Another thing I wanted to briefly touch on is, well, my AU engines. If you notice, I've been really fascinated recently with industrial engines and heavily weathering my models. And I thought I'd give a bit of explanatory time of the goal with these kinds of models. Steve Reneus, Sir Handel, and Duncan are pretty much normal. Reneus only features weathering with the Season 12, whereas Rusty features heavy weathering because he is Rusty and he's diesel and I imagine in real life he would get more dirty because Diesel would produce a lot of stuff like that. Percy is different though. He is heavily weathered for a reason and that is because I'm working on my own set of standard gauge AU engines in a more industrial sense with much more heavily weathering and basically a lot of weathering. As I just said, trust me, there is a reason why Percy Bear is a face. One, because I love the face, and two, I have basically put him in a time with me. Working on plans to expand this feed, including my Gordon Ford model, which will be heavily I haven't had time to work on him recently, but trust me, I have not forgot about him, and I'll get back to work on him very, very soon. And that is my models. I hope you guys enjoy all these additions, and I forgot to mention, the handle has had a new funnel. I have replaced the old one as it just looks very good.